Let's now take a look at the lookup function used in Microsoft Excel. Now, what the lookup function does is allows you to search a particular value or label, okay, placed within one of the cells, and it checks it within the range where that value might appear. Wherever that value appears, it's going to give you a result from a corresponding column. Okay, and lookup can be used in the same way for rows. You may type in a value for a specific column and it will find, retrieve the value within another row in the same column. Okay, so it sounds a bit confusing, but it's actually quite a powerful tool. So what we're gonna do is make it so that we can enter in an employee code and it will search the code and then give us both the employee's name from the name column and employee's payment automatically. So let's give this a shot. So we're going to go equals lookup and we're going to open bracket and first we're going to say where we're going to enter the code and we're going to enter the code in this little lookup code box here. I'm going to press comma. Now we need to say where the codes appear. Okay, so it's going to do a search of all the codes in order to match it with the code we enter. And we press comma and then we say which corresponding column do we want uh, this code to be matched up to. So we're going to be doing the name column and it will match up the code with the corresponding name in the same row. So I'm going to press enter and right now we get an NA which means nothing available yet okay because I haven't entered in a code yet. So let's try CWE okay and that should be for C Weathers. Press enter and there it is C Weathers has appeared. We're going to do the same operation now for payment. So once again, equals lookup, open bracket, go to where we're getting the code from, comma, select the codes so that that can be matched up with the code we're entering, comma, and then enter in the payment column so that it can find the actual value we're looking for in the corresponding row. Press enter. And there we go, C weather should be getting $241.60, and that is correct. Now, there is going to be one issue with this actual spreadsheet. And one example would be if I tried to do B Duke, if I do B D U. Enter. Okay, it has an error. This error stems from the fact that lookup is done in a sequential search. Okay, and basically it gets confused when uh, the codes are out of order. So what I'm going to need to do is actually highlight all my rows as well as the header okay and actually sort it so that it's alphabetically so I'm going to do a sort and filter custom sort and I'm going to sort it by code so that because that's basically what we're running the search as and make the codes be A to Z and I'm going to go okay and now it's working so make sure that your actual uh, spreadsheet whatever you're using as the basis of your search is in alphabetical order based on that criteria. So I hope that gives you an understanding of the advantages of the, the lookup function and just how much of a powerful tool it is in conducting searches. This amazing tutorial is a part of Spreadsheet Lesson Activities, a new book that I've released related to content with spreadsheet concepts, activities related to functions, graphs, embedding, conditional logic and macros and much more links to unadvertised YouTube demonstrations, exam style questions and sample answers. So be sure to check it out if you want to learn more about spreadsheets.